Hello everybody, this is Caronte and I'm going to make a um, very small change to the window dragging uh, tutorial that I did a few days ago. The problem, well, it's a problem and it's a, there's a problem and there's something that I want to change. The first thing is that, as you can see, now I'm using Windows. Uh, I hop from Linux, which is my main operative system, to Windows to test stuff. So if I run my program in Windows, whoops, not working. So what's the problem? Um, let's work it out. What I'm seeing is a jump and that jump has to be made either here where my position is calculated or here where my offset is calculated so let's try uh, print offset string offset Let's try this, and my offset seems about right, so let's test the other thing that can be, which is the position. Let's add here a, a global pause string event global position. And when I run it, uh, I need a plus here. So now what I get is a global position of zero. That's uh, kind of weird. And that's kind of weird because uh, I know for a fact that input event, input event, has a global position somewhere uh, device input event uh, let's see mouse input event mouse so this is the global position it has a setter and a getter which is a good practice to use but it shouldn't be a problem. At least it was not a problem in Linux. Let's give it a shot in Windows. Uh, I, I already know the answer. I, I'm just walking through my thinking process. So you can, you know, solve uh, problems like this by yourself. So get global position. Now I'm calling the method instead of the property. And it doesn't work. It's not working. And the problem uh, that I'm facing here, it's uh, a bit trickier. The thing is, this event mouse, it's calling get global position or get position on the mouse click. And that's the keyword there. It's the click. I'm not clicking anymore. So, this works fine here, even the the global position probably works fine. I'm going to change it just out of, you know, better practices. So it works when I do the clicking and I want to check if my bar is being clicked. But when I'm moving, it's not working. So if I take a look at my uh, input event mouse motion, what I find out is that the things that it gives me is the relative uh, position uh, relative to the prior uh, mouse position and the speed. Uh, you can see how this can be very helpful for uh, something like a shooter where you are moving your mouse and uh, it doesn't really matter the mouse position. What you want to know is how far did it go? How fast did it go? that kind of stuff and inherits from input event mouse so 
I, I do have access to that property, but since it has a getter and a setter, and that property is only set when I get the mouse click, it's not working for me. So I have a couple options, and the easiest one for me, I think, is just to recalculate event position. So I already have this variable that I forgot to change for some reason. Uh, I'm going to change it to mouse position. I mean, I forgot to change it because uh, I started with m pause, and then I decided to do these underscores things, and I forgot about the variable. So mouse position now is going to be what my event position was all the time. Event position, event position. I think that's all of them. So right now my mouse, my mouse, my mouse position is set. It. This bar is no longer required. So my mouse position is initialized when I get the click, the click on the on the bar. As a matter of fact, well, it doesn't matter because if it's not click, but whatever, I can. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Once, when, wherever I click, I get the position, and anything, nothing will work until it's within the bounds of my of my title, my bar. So, whenever I click, I get the position of the click, and then when I am dragging, what I want to do is to update that position. So, mouse position is mouse pause it's equal to my prior mouse position plus my event get relative this get relative is the position of the mouse pointed relative to the to the previous mouse position so uh, what i'm doing is recalculated the global position of the mouse while I'm dragging. If I'm not dragging, this doesn't happen at all. So what I can do is to test it. I'm going to do mouse position and this can be changed to mouse position. Actually, it's mouse pause. I'm I'm used to the new position change that they did, and and I forget. So now it works like a charm. It works perfectly fine. And while I'm changing this, uh, what I'm going to do is a, a very easy fix for something different. Here in my main, if I run this. I have a, what I think it's a very odd behavior because right now the quest list window is on top. I can click the other window and nothing will happen until I click the bar. And then the whole window uh, will, will go on top. So it's kind of weird because uh, in your regular window, uh, in your regular window, operating system, when you click any side of the window, the, the rest of the windows, you know, go on the back. So like here, for example, see, I can click here on top, on top, and I cannot drag anything here, but it comes on top, no matter what. So that's what we are going to emulate in a moment, because it's like really, really easy. Um, what we are going to do is to change this if get owner and I need a new target here so my mouse position is going to be the same that doesn't change now my window position is going to be let's let's get the oh come on oh did it crash on me and I'm back uh, when you work with alphas, this is bound to happen. Uh, that's no problem. So I get the mouse position, but the next thing that I want is my window position. 
And here in the, the scene specter, you can see that uh, if getting that uh, very first node, the root of the tree, um, I found that it's not always a great idea if you have an alternative. So in here, the window frame is exactly the same size. So I'm going to get that. Uh, on ready var window node get node window frame I know this is misspelled I'm not going to well I guess I can't window Is there any other window and window? Okay, so now I have the, the window node. Uh, window node, get global position. Now I have the position. I only need a target rectangle. Uh, bar window rect, it's equal to rect2 window position let's be consistent window pause window pause that x window pause that y i need the size var window size it's equal to window node dot size get size window size dot x window size dot y so um, this can be like you know uh, you can use this this reference right here and you don't need to work with more variables but first I I think it's easier to follow in the tutorial and later when you review the code it's easier to read and nowadays you know creating these kind of variables it's not like very taxating performance wise it's not a problem at all so if a uh, window rectangle has the mouse position we are going to check the owner and if it has an owner actually and get owner since it's not going to do anything else so this part will just check for the mouse uh, to be within the bounds of the of the window and if you already use the mouse click, it's going to rise the window. That's all it's going to do. Because down here, it's going to, you know, uh, check if it's within the, within the bar. Uh, what I don't want, that's, that's the other thing. Whoa. I don't want the window to be draggable from anywhere. That's that's the, the main point. So you get your mouse over, you click, we store the position of the mouse, check if it's within the boundaries of the window. If it's the case, the window pops. But later it checks if it's within the bounds of the bar or the label in this case. If that's the case, the status change to click. If it's not, it doesn't. So it's not it will never be draggable. Let's check it out. So, okay, it broke. Uh, has point. Okay, so now as you can see, nothing happens here. I'm clicking and dragging here. I can you know drag it no problem so let's load the main scene and see how everything works together 
and in my main scene I can drag stuff around and this pops but I cannot drag the window using you know any any, any side uh, here it broke uh, On quest detail or request oh, okay uh, this is something that we can fix too in a moment because right now if there is no if we click one of the routes I think see since it doesn't have a quest detail it doesn't know what to do it's pretty easy to fix you just need to say if quest done because the roots doesn't have any metadata you know going for them so it was breaking and here everything works and now the windows pop as they should okay so now everything is working it's it's you know um doing what we want to do and it works on windows uh i'm going to check in linux but I'm pretty sure it, it will work. So hopefully this was helpful. I see you later, guys. Bye.